Let's now understand the history of G7. The G7 was established back in 1975 to discuss global economy. Over the next four decades, it has steadily expanded its scope. The leaders of wealthiest nations put more issues on the table, including peace and security, climate change, and now the coronavirus pandemic. Here's a report on how the G7 has evolved over the years. The grouping owes its origin to a small gathering of finance ministers in the library of the White House. The then finance minister of West Germany, France, the UK and the US were popularly referred to as the library group. After the oil shock and global recession of 1970, leaders of six countries, France, West Germany, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom and the United States met in Chateau de Rambouillet in 1975. Next year, that is 1976, the group was enlarged to form the G7 with the addition of Canada. The first G7 summit took place that year in San Juan, Puerto Rico. The first talks between what was then the European community and the G7 took place in London as early as 1977. And from 1981, at the G7 summit in Ottawa, the European Union became a regular invitee. While it was the oil shock and the collapse of the fixed exchange rate system that brought them together, it was the threat of Soviet Union that provided the glue. All throughout 1980s, the Iraq-Iran war and the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan was the dominating issue when it comes to the grouping's agenda. From economics, the scope of interest soon began to move towards security and foreign affairs. As the Iron Curtain fell, the grouping was quick to reach out to Moscow and Russia's Gorbachev was invited to attend the G7 London summit in 1991. Down the lane, that is in 1998, Russia became a full member of the grouping. In 2003, India and China were invited to the grouping for the first time. With the growing stature of the developing countries, a group was formed which was the G8 plus 5. A group of eight top economies and five emerging economies, Brazil, India, China, Mexico and South Africa, became an unofficial part of the club. Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh was regularly invited from 2005 to 2009, but Russia was kicked out of the group after its annexation of Crimea. The country was suspended and the grouping became G7 in 2014 at the Brussels summit. And since then, the grouping has been meeting as the G7. The G7 grouping has seven countries which are large advanced economies but share one common attribute that is liberal democracy. Now looking at the economic and political weight of the grouping, the grouping does influence other countries and other multilateral organizations. But today, the grouping faces two main worries, a rise of China and a Russia that recently invaded Ukraine and shocked Europe. With video journalist Ajit Sadhansibal for Vion in Germany. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.